scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. Everything in my life that is not your will, let it change tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine, pain can be turned to joy. If water turned to wine, defeat can be turned to victory. Shalika barakas kapraka posiata, ekraka tefras kaparakosiata bara kusiates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court. When you go to the appeal court, you go with greater evidences and say, in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration, you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out. Are we together now? Even when God, the judge, sent a prophet to a man called Hezekiah. He said, pack up your load. He said, God Almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man, put your house together. You will not recover. Hezekiah said, I respect you prophet. You leave. He turned his face knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns, let the mercy of God overrun and overturn. Open your mouth and pray. Let mercy, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray mercy triumphs over judgment mercy that speaks death mercy that speaks defeat mercy over curses mercy over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight
in the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of man had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except Noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the Bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when God was about to bring it to a stop I hope you know that it did not just stop because God wanted it to stop let me show you Genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 he says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You're going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed. But now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and God remembered Noah and God remembered Noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you I have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January, this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer 
let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's the story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree, green, very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs, he cursed it and said, no man eat of you again. And by the next day when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you? The world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry. You bear fruit in business. You bear, there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again. They are saved. But there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not be a fruit. You are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible, listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful, especially fruits like garden egg. And then you give it a bite only to find worms inside. Has that happened to you? That you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner i cause it tonight by the god of heaven go ahead and pray Everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry, fruitfulness in destiny, fruitfulness in career. I cause it by the Spirit of the living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalikapas kebrandekeberekatos yata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. 
Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house, and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate 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 my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen, he said, give us this day our there is something called daily bread daily bread bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour it means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day God is that meticulous. He's that, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry. Give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give 
with me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Anything you must carry to help you cannot help you. Hallelujah. But we are gathered to the King Immortal. It says, now unto the King Immortal, invincible, the only wise God. It is from his light that we see light. Why am I telling you this? Because Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him, that whosoever comes to God must come believing that he exists, and then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. May God bless you. You are welcome tonight. Please be seated. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of September. The Lord is going to be doing a very quick work tonight. Hallelujah. I got this ministration in my spirit as I prepared for tonight that the Lord will be doing a very quick work in our lives. The second thing I want you to know, please let me have your attention. There is a gift that God wants to give everybody this night and I want you to please pay attention as I explain it to you. God gives gifts to men. Hallelujah. When gifts are given, your own assignment is to learn how to receive and to learn how to use. When gifts are given, if I give you the gift of an expensive phone, an expensive watch, an expensive gadget, I have done my own part to give you. There are two things you must do. You must know how to receive it and then you must know how to use it. You can receive a gift. I have the privilege by the grace of God of having many gifts that have been given to me by several people. Some necessary for my life, but some not necessary. And there are gifts that I received with gratitude, but they've not been able to profit me today because I either do not know how to use them, I've not paid attention to learn how to use them, or I have not found them necessary as far as my life is concerned. But they are still called gifts, even though unused. It's not enough to be excited that there are things that God wants to give us. We must know how to receive and then how to make manifest that which God has given. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I always take time to pray. Um, many of us may never have an idea of the amount of time that is invested preparing for every service and then more importantly the miracle service i take i think I, I heard this from a great man of god who said one of the reasons why they do the things that they do in the church is because number one they take god seriously they take his work seriously and they take his people seriously when I heard that, I said, this is a beautiful presentation that when you take God seriously, when you take his people seriously, and when you take his work seriously, there are certain kinds of preparations you will not but make. Hallelujah. And while I prayed, I heard the word freedom. I kept hearing that word freedom. Freedom 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 i heard that word more than seven times as i prayed and i knew that this was the direction that god was taking us to so i'll just share a few things and then we'll trust god tonight beyond the healing beyond the miracles beyond praying on your request tonight truly is a service to receive that means nobody's hand should be empty at the end of this service there are things that God has by himself. There's something called a souvenir. When you go for a wedding or some priority program with serious, responsible, especially wealthy people, you don't go there just to get the souvenir, but while you are seated, you will find some gentlemen or ladies well-dressed in a beautiful apparel, moving with gifts, and they drop it, they hand it over to you. That becomes the evidence that you went for that program. Am I right? So when you go rejoicing, they look at it and say, wow, you went for this man's birthday, or you went for this wedding, or you went for this occasion. 
there are certain souvenirs that you must carry God who is the host of this meeting has come with certain things to give men and you should not go back with your hands empty and they ask you where was your portion and you say carelessness made me leave it in church freedom write this down I define freedom or freedom is defined as a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved freedom is defined as a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved it's the first definition I want you to have as touching freedom a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved that any individual who is free from being on um, imprisoned or enslaved can be said to experience freedom another definition freedom is a state of not being subject to or affected by freedom is a state of not being subject to or affected by you are as free to the degree to which you are not being subject to or affected by freedom i will repeat myself number one is a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved Number two, freedom is a state of not being subject to or affected by, in this case, the vicissitudes of life, the influence of demonic forces, you are not subject to nor affected by them. An example of this was seen in the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Bible tells us that these were men that the fire had no power over. Hallelujah. It is God's desire for every believer to experience liberty. Liberty that is in Christ. Liberty that is in Christ. Liberty that is in Christ. Give us Galatians, I believe, 3 and verse 1. Galatians 3 or Colossians. Is it Colossians or Galatians? It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. That should be Colossians. It just came to my spirit please find it for me Colossians 3 I believe verse 1 did I get that right media help me it is for freedom the Bible says that Christ has set us free it says we should hold fast to that freedom so that we are not entangled 5 verse 1 thank you give me amplified I like what amplified says Galatians 5 verse 1 it says in this freedom Christ has made us free and completely liberated us. He says, stand fast then. So it starts by giving you an information that it is for freedom that Christ has made you free. That means everything he went through for you at the back of his mind was that you be liberated and free indeed. And then he says, your responsibility now is to stand fast then and do not be hampered and held ensnared and submit again to the yoke of slavery, which you have once put off. Contextually, he was speaking about going back to the law. But now this applies to every area of life. It is for freedom, he says, that Christ has made us free. Our assignment is to stand fast in that liberty and refuse that we be not ensnared again to the things that we once were free from. If we are together, say amen. amen. Now, Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55 and verse 9. Profound scripture there. It says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. My goodness, I'm praying that someone's eyes will see something now. It says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. That means there are two kinds of ways. There is God's way, a higher and more superior way. And then there are ways that are carved out out of man's experiment, man's pride, or man's imagination. My ways, he said, my ways of doing anything are higher than your ways, more superior than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Verse 10. He says, for, oh, give us verse, verse 9 again. Let me read verse 9, then I connect it to verse 10. As the heavens are higher than the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've had the privilege to fly, 
there are times that you will be surprised the distance between earth and heaven. You can be as much as 40, 45,000 feet above sea level and yet you are literally suspended. To those who are on the ground, you are in heaven. But to you, you are just midway in the sky. You are not even close to it. And the Bible says, as far as the heaven is from the earth, it says that is how superior God's way is to the way of man. Verse 10. For as the rain cometh down from that distance, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11, it says, So shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Do you know what this is saying? God is saying that there, you have two options at any point in your life. You can follow the way of men carved out by their imaginations and their limitations. Or you can subscribe to a way more superior, a way more intelligent, a way more profitable, a way more time redeeming God's way. Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 23 and 24, Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Corinth and he said, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. 24 now, he says, but unto them which are called, includes all of us, both Jews and Greek. I have taught you Christ, the anointed, the anointing is revealed as the power of God and the wisdom of God. This is very profound. That the anointing of the spirit is always revealed in the midst of God's people as the power of God and then as the wisdom of God. I want to talk a bit about the wisdom of God because this is the gift tonight that God wants to give everyone. Psalm 104 verse 24. Psalm 104 verse 24. Let's read together. Ready? Shout it as loud as you can. Want to read. Oh Lord. How manifold are thy works in wisdom thou hast made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. One last time. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. It says in wisdom thou hast made. Now, when God wants to make you great, I want you to listen to me. When God wants to make a man great, there are two things that God does in the life of that man. Number one, God reveals his will to you. This is the first thing God does in ascending men from a realm of defeat, mediocrity, their lowly estates, to a realm where they rise and they are able to shine indeed. The first thing that God does to a man is to reveal his will. Because I have told you that everything in God's economy answers to his will. So your, your first part of call in making progress with God is to know his will for your life or for whatever matter, number one. The second thing that God does is that the moment he brings you to the awareness of his will, he grants you access to the wisdom that is hidden in him that will bring that will to pass. Listen to me. Knowing the will of God for your life, for your finances is not enough. If that will is not connected to the wisdom, the wisdom there reveals the strategy allocated to make that which he has told you come to pass. There are many, many people who have become endless victims and limited by God said. Their God said was not wrong, but they only stayed in the realm of knowing the will of God without accessing the wisdom that translates what he has said to what you now see. Are we together now? The assignment of what the Bible calls the wisdom of God is the strategy given to all men as a gift from God to tell you what to do, how to act, how to navigate your way until you translate the will of God from that which is finished in the spirit to that which is made manifest in your life. Those whose lives become a sign and a wonder 
are men who, number one, by the privilege of God's grace, have accessed the will of God, the knowledge of his will. But number two, through the agency of the word of God and the spirit, they have mastered the art of drawing from the depth of his wisdom. And out of that wisdom, they produce results that are extraordinary. You must learn to tap into the wisdom that is allocated for your greatness. The Bible talks about it and calls it the hidden wisdom of God. The Bible says that has been kept for our glory. That means, imagine that you go to a place just, just using your mind. That you step into a place in heaven and you see the names of people. Joshua Selman, this is what he should become. Great, prosperous, impactful for the kingdom. That is God's will. But when you open that file, you will find attached to that file a dimension of wisdom that will make what he has said come to pass. Your first miracle is knowing what God has written through the eons of time that this is what I desire to do with your life. But number two is having access to the wisdom that makes it manifest. Most pastors, most ministries, most great people have either not found the will of God for their lives, for their jobs, for that which they are pursuing, or number two, have been bankrupt of the wisdom from the spirit to know how to translate prophetic speakings to become a reality. The first thing the Lord revealed to Joshua through Moses was the fact that it was the will of God for him to man the helm of affairs of the leadership now to take God's people experientially to the promised land. Hallelujah. But the moment they got to Jericho, it would have been a costly assumption that would have led to their defeat if Joshua tried to invent the strategy by himself. Joshua was not in ignorance as to what God desired to produce, but he needed the wisdom of God. Their victory were dependent on knowing the wisdom of God. And the Bible says, that they circumcised themselves and when that happened the captain of the Lord's army appeared and gave Joshua a strategy and it was by that strategy they brought Jericho down no amount of human thinking would have suggested going around a city as the formula for defeating such a formidable city this is the wisdom of God as far as the heavens are from the earth I meditated upon this and while I began to pray myself and say, Lord, I pray that your people will understand that for many of them here, the missing link connecting where they are to where they need to be. Thank God for favor. Thank God for destiny help us. Thank God for all of these things. But you see, it is the wisdom of God. Imagine the wisdom of God like the veins and the arteries in your body. Are we together now? Imagine a human body without veins, without arteries. There is no possibility of transporting oxygen, transporting food, nourishment from one part of the body to the other. That, that, that nerve that connects the entire body is called the wisdom of God. Imagine if you had to feed your brain, then feed your eyes, then feed your hand, and then feed... No, 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 no. All you need to do is just let the food get to the right place and there is already a design by the wisdom of God where every part of the body receives the supply that comes from you. Are we together? That even when you need medical help, they don't inject you in every part of the body. Just one part of the body and it finds its way to heal and treat every other part of the body. This is how wisdom is. There are many people who have different aspects of their lives dying continually. And it is because of the deficiency of the wisdom of God. Hmm. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 23. Let's read Amplified. We talk a lot about the man Daniel. Daniel was a mighty prophet of God. Daniel was used by God to do several things in Babylon. One of such was interpretation of the king's dream. Watch this. The Bible says in Daniel 2.19, then we're reading to 23, then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night. Watch the wisdom of God. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 20. 
And Daniel answered and said, go ahead and let's read together. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. 21, still reading together. He changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. 22, he reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. The final verse. I thank you and I praise you, O God of my fathers, who has given me what? Wisdom and might and made known to me now what we desire of you. For you have made unto me the solution to the king's problem. Look up, please. When God wants to help you, let me repeat myself for your understanding. Number one, he reveals his will. Because if you are outside the will of God, I told you that the power of God cannot support you in defiance to the will of God. Then number two, you need the wisdom of God. I have taught you that in scripture there are four kinds of wisdom. There is wisdom that comes from above. There is sensual wisdom. Wisdom that is scientific. Number three, there is natural wisdom. Wisdom that is a product of age and experience, instinct. And then there is devilish or demonical wisdom. We are talking here about superior wisdom that is from above. You want to build anything great in your life? That is the kind of wisdom that must come upon your life. You want to make acceleration and progress in life and destiny? That is the kind of wisdom. I have discovered that many people who come to church are not really sick in terms of bodily deformities, but most people are in need of strange solutions, solutions that cannot be found by the wisdom of God. Uh, the wisdom of man it will take superior wisdom how do i move from where i am to the next level of my life most of the prayer requests here i have taught you that most prayer requests of members carry financial issues then perhaps health issues and then various issues that require solutions solutions in office solutions in your life and destiny how to bring yourself from point a to point B. The believer was not left without wisdom from God. Please listen carefully. It would be a dangerous thing and it would be unfair for God to put us in this complicated world that is made up of all kinds of people and then give everybody a will and yet not grant us access to superior wisdom. Being a sign and a wonder I wrote here demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. There are many people who have encountered the power of God correcting all kinds of things in your body. But most people have not accessed superior wisdom. And let me tell you the truth, wisdom is connected to mighty works. Behind every extraordinary manifestation through the life of the saints is this mysterious wisdom of God. Show me a man who has accessed the wisdom of God or have mastered the dynamics of drawing forth wisdom from God. I show you a man whose life will be an unending wonder. Everything that the Bible shows as a result of the works of God, he credits it to his wisdom. He says, how mighty, manifold that your works. In wisdom, thou hast made them all. Most believers are bankrupt of wisdom. We have education because you went to school and you passed through a system, learned along a field of study and you were certified. And with all due respect, most people believe that their lives will magically change because they are holding certificates in their hands or their lives will magically change because they are people of wonderful, maybe character, and that is important. Or their lives will magically change because they feel they are old enough to get a job or old enough to make progress. 
in light of the decadence in our world in light of the sentiments and the prejudices in our world none of these things have the power in themselves to give you an edge the edge of the believer in this bedeviled world is access to the will of god access to the wisdom of god and access to the power of god you want to become a sign and a wonder includes your church your family your children your endeavor you are going to have to tap into a higher way there is a way that cement right unto a man the bible says but the end thereof are the ways of death you have tried the way of sending a text to an uncle and say can you give me a job you have tried the way of borrowing money and you have gotten into trouble you have tried the way of trying to just use publicity materials to say come to my church these things are not wrong you are a sincere person trying it but i'm proposing to you tonight that god wants to give you a gift that ends ordinary living in your life it, that when you a man accesses the wisdom of god nothing about his life becomes ordinary again believe me when i tell you this there is always a signature that he has followed a higher way. You can trek to Lagos. That is a way that leads to Lagos. You may arrive, you may not arrive. You can use a bike to go to Lagos. You can use a car and go to Lagos. And perhaps you may be a victim of armed robbers on the way. Perhaps because of bad road or bad weather, it can affect you. Perhaps something can happen to the tire. There can be a mechanical fault. Are we together? But then you can take a flight. That is another route. That someone can be on his bed, sleeping, and you tell him goodbye. I'm going to Lagos. And he says, I'll wait for you there. And you leave in the morning and later on in the afternoon, he just stretches himself and jumps into an aircraft. And in 50 minutes exactly, he's landed in Lagos. And you still find him still sleeping in another location while you're on your way going. The difference is not the sincerity of your heart. You are both sincere people, but you have chosen different routes based on the resources available. Are we together now? Listen very carefully. So the man who is on the road sweating, imagine a woman with three or four children all making noise and disturbing everybody in the car but you are limited to that based on the resources you have then the driver can decide to park by nine o'clock and say he feels there are armed robbers if you are courageous come and carry the car and take the other people to lagos or the driver can say i am tired i either drive sleep on the way and kill all of you or we are patient till five o'clock before we continue the journey he will just apologize but many things now are at risk because you, you're, you could not get there at the time you wanted to. Two things. The method of transportation you chose that is a reflection of the resources within you. Are we, toge are we together now? Whereas another person, you can find children jumping in the plane, disturbing people, but they are still going at that pace because their parents made a choice for them and they are benefiting from that choice crying but on their way 50 minutes exactly and they're in lagos they arrive there and you can have the time you can arrive happy people greet you they are cautious on your way home what is the difference now i'm not i'm not from a physical standpoint i'm not looking down on this too i hope you understand me i'm just showing you the superiority of the routes trying to contrast what the lord has said you can choose a path to life that makes people hate jesus by looking at your life now, God will honor you because you use your will to choose that choice, to make that choice. And so it's a life of hardship, a life of struggling up and down, pain, no victory, one battle after the other for the rest of your life. Or you can make up your mind and say, I have spent 25 years of my life trying this route. I have spent 30 years of my life trying this route. Now I want to choose a more superior path the way of the Lord, the way of wisdom, and then you align with God's way. Ladies and gentlemen, you can take a flight with God that in no distant time, you can arrive in ministry, arrive in life. You see, there is nothing like too late with God. Too late is relative to the path you take. Are we together now? Now, do you know, as powerful as flight is, even in physics, there is something called telepathy. Where you disappear, you are not and you are in a moment. At least your sci-fi movies have it. 
and then the Bible also tells us a few men who manifested that are we together you are not and then you are in a moment that that is a possibility with God that a man can walk with God and choose that level of wisdom and that by the next moment God does something in your life that people will have to call you and say listen I do not know you going to harbor lists I do not know you collecting charms what is responsible for this kind of result and you tell them no I didn't I didn't meet a herbalist I found out that there is a level of wisdom that can come ah please believe me please believe me you do ministry with that wisdom get ready to to soar in a flight where your life becomes an inspiration to many you ignore that wisdom and see how hard your life will be and see how much of pain you will accumulate all through your lifetime with my life We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright We'll sing in honor of you I'll raise your banner high I'll shine your light so bright Listen, I submit to you with all humility. I look at my life today and I look at the bits that God has done and is doing in my life and this ministry and it can only be the wisdom of God. I can tell you points in my work with God where I will show you how to tap that wisdom shortly. But when that wisdom comes, like a visitor knocking at your door, you know that with that, vi with that wisdom, victory has come. With that wisdom, a solution has come. Until his word came, the Lord tried him. You remain until the word comes. But when it does come, you have found your way out of any situation. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Because I'm saying that because many of you right now, most of your prayer point is shrouded in one word, confusion. What do I do? How do I, I know what I want? I know what I desire. I know how to move from point A to, uh, I know that I should move from point A to point B. But how in the world am I going to cross this Red Sea? How in the world am I going to leap over a wall? How in the world am I going to run through a troop that midwives where I am and my place of destiny? The answer is found in the wisdom of God. We raise your banner high, I shine your light so bright, I'll sing in honor of you. I will raise your banner high, I'll shine your light so bright. the thousands that are gathered today tens of thousands and many following across the globe ladies and gentlemen what you see happening in this ministry is not just the effort of a man is the simplicity of tapping into wisdom wisdom that is not Sophia wisdom that is not human I remember many listen 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 I have shared with you once upon a time we went for a crusade and the money to even pay the venue to pay the hotel and pay the transport was not there same God same people no wisdom you can call it process no problem all things work together but the missing link was wisdom the wisdom of God we held that crusade that time where less than maybe less than 50 people can you imagine that 
less than 50 people there about did the best we knew how to do but the missing link was tapping into the wisdom of God yet there were visions of nations yet there were visions of mighty things do you know that in that vision you were there but how were you going to come the wisdom of God did I know you did I know your address look the burden I would have to go through looking for you one by one leave that to the wisdom of God the resources you need, the influence you need is hidden in accessing the wisdom of the Spirit. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? I want God to really change your life tonight. It's a miracle service, but you listen. Because many people just shout amen and go back and nothing changes. When I was praying and I heard that freedom, I knew that what most people need is how to access the wisdom of God. I told you, one time the Lord came to me and here was the revelation. He said, son, this is a strategy for you. It's not a strategy for everybody. You would do it and it will not work because it is the wisdom of God that is connected to his will for you. That is why blindly copying is a, a recipe for disaster. Hallelujah. And here's what he told me. Carry your teachings, audio teachings. That time we didn't have any sound to edit. You listen to some of those teachings, you need a lot of endurance. Powerful revelation, but with all kinds of noise, sometimes the volume will go up and down, but that was what we could do at that time. And yet he said, take that teaching. He says, put it online. My angel will take it to the nations. And with it, I will announce you the wisdom of God. That childlike obedience is what has birthed this level of influence that you see today. Now, somebody will blindly go and do that and put everything online. And all you will get is an insult from people. And who do you think you are? And people just insult you until you withdraw it back. Because to you, you are just copying in the flesh. It did not come. That is not the strategy allocated for your victory. Never take any step until you know what God's will is. And you have received the wisdom to make what he has said come to pass. God can give you a vision and in that vision you will see a, a duplex. That is God's will for you. He's saying I want to establish you. Let me tell you what most people do. They receive the will and then they choose the strategy by themselves. That is why they fail. So the person gets up and immediately he goes to collect. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But he goes to collect a loan of 50 million. 100 million and he says I know what I saw God told me now the person did not see a lie but he did not stay with the spirit everything that comes from God to your spirit I am telling you what you see if it's only the will of God that you received the package was not complete there is still another package coming the wisdom connected to his will hallelujah when we came to Abuja You've, you've heard the story. I said these things to inspire you. It's always been a second home, but now coming to do ministry. Lord, how is this going to happen? But those who know God find rest. Anything he says, you are not afraid of the size of what he has said because there is a wisdom component that is going to come. The moment it lands, it deflates every difficulty. And I began to pray, preparing pray and the Spirit of God began to search the mind of God when you design for the next level of koinonia dear father what was the strategy and there it was that file was found in the spirit and when it was opened because he said lo I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will it was found and the Lord came to me again get the map of Abuja get the map of Nigeria Get the map of Africa and get the map of the world. Begin to pray on it. With childlike faith, I started rejoicing. I kept praying. Pray. That was my assignment. As simple as it is. That was the wisdom. I remember one time, many years in Zaria, the Lord gave me an instruction and I trekked from a very long distance. And all I was doing was just speaking and trekking till I got to some very far distance. And that was the strategy that gave us dominion within that city. Can I tell you, when you meet spiritual men, their pathway does not reconcile with science many times, but you wait and watch the result that comes out of it. 
the Bible says to those who are called, both Greeks and Jews, Christ is the power of God and Christ is the wisdom of God. I began to pray and one thing led to the other. Today, look what God is doing. And this is only the beginning. Hallelujah. By the way, let me apologize. I promised last week that I was going to officially launch, you know, the, the project and the funds. I just decided to be patient, to allow those involved. There are still a few things they need to put together. And I thought it was good for them to put everything together before we officially make that announcement. So pardon me. I, I, I even forgot. My sincere apologies for those who have been waiting to give. Just be patient. And hopefully when they tidy up everything, want to do everything excellently and then to launch it with understanding. So just keep praying and I'm sure that everything will be tidied up soonest. But, but are we still together? The wisdom of God. So for someone, you can be praying, trusting God to increase your business. And whilst you are praying, the Lord shows you the picture. I want to lift you, I want to bless you. But Lord, how is this going to happen? God can give you an instruction. It can come as the wisdom of God. This is what you call Rema. It's not just a word spoken from God. The wisdom of God allocated. See, the Rema word of God is not applicable to everybody. It is bespoke to you. It comes to you as a solution to whatever predicament. It is the reason why you cannot create doctrines out of it. Because it was a word specified for your situation. You can share and God can give others instruction to obey exactly. That can become a rhema word for them too. But until he speaks, it cannot be called the wisdom of God. Now, can I tell you this? The purpose of studying scripture is not just to see. It's not just to learn. It's that his voice will come out through what you are studying. And he will say something to you from scripture that relates to your now situation. The purpose of prayer, like I'll be teaching you, the Bible says that we have access to the hidden wisdom of God. That when we submit ourselves to prayer, when it is time for miracle service, what I do is I just start praying in the spirit. Every service really, but I'm praying in the spirit. And sometimes there are already impressions in my spirit. Now I plan. But there are times because I do, there are tens of thousands of people. How for God's sake do you know this person's problem? If you are guessing, you will find out that at the end of it, you will guess and you will not bless up to 100 people out of all the people that came. And you keep walking like that, get ready for empty pews. Because the people who come to you will not be blessed. But you can see sometimes God can give one word of knowledge and you find 20 people come out. This is the wisdom of God. He knows what their problems were. You watch our video while we're in, I think it was in UK or so. One of the phenomenal words of knowledge that God gave. And then the number of people plus the clothes they were wearing. And all of them came carrying that kind of thing. You don't guess that kind of thing. Not in a territory like that. The hidden wisdom of God that was designed for our glory. Father, what do I need to do for the next level of my life? Why is ministry grounded this way? There has to be a way out. The first thing I need you to know is that for any problem you are confronting now, please find a way of convincing yourself that there is a way out. Say there is a way out. Let the devil hear it. Say there is a way out. Yes, sir. You are not the first to go through financial problems, marital problems, problems with children, problems with ministry. All of this, the Bible says the thing that is, is the thing that was and the thing that will be. With respect to the dealings of men, there is nothing new under the sun. Those who walked out of all their challenges received wisdom from God. Others made blind assumptions to their detriment. The gift that God wants to give you tonight is to grant you an understanding to know how to access his wisdom for all things and all matters in your life. And I'm telling you, you would have gotten a key tonight. You walk out, you stand before storms and challenges and you will smile in advance. Even though you don't know the way out, you pity what is standing in front of you because for as long as the wisdom of God arrives, every mountain must be made low. Hallelujah. When it had to do with finances in this ministry, 
with all due respect and to the glory of God, I'd seen ministry struggle and suffer, manipulate people, and I said, God, I vow a vow that I will never manipulate and deceive your people because of the issue of resources. But the truth is that you will need resources to do the work of the kingdom. Being a person of integrity is not enough. It takes integrity and ability. And then he brings a strategy. And to God be the glory for what he's doing today. You see that? When it had to do with the manifestation of the anointing. I remember one time I was praying. Praying and asking God. That was when he took me to that scripture that says follow them who through faith and patience. For me, it did not come as a Bible verse. It came as the wisdom of God. He's saying there's no point inventing the wheel when it has already been invented. There are men who I have worked with. That's when God showed me that the way he distributes graces in the world is that every time he wants to bless a generation, he creates a portal of spiritual possibility through a person and anoints that person by covenant and that person becomes his official distribution system of that grace. Nobody will access that dimension of grace ignoring the position of that individual. Hallelujah. So if you want to step into the healing ministry today, you will be surprised even if you are in a village, God will find a way of making you have access to men like Benny Hinn even if not directly through their materials, because by the privilege of the election of grace, they have become custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. When you want to access wisdom, God will make you to have access to men like Dr. Mike Mudok, the true apostle of wisdom living on earth today. Now it is up to you to discern. You can walk in a lot of foolishness and say, I must see Jesus myself. And foolishness will make you to not even be alive before you see him. Are we together? Mm. There are men who embody certain possibilities. That when you find out that your life, things are going haywire in your life. Your prayer life is going down and all of that. There are vessels that when you encounter. I remember one time I gave you the story. That I went for a program and they kept me in the guest house in prayer city. When they kept me in that guest house, I waited for everybody to go later when it was in the night. I just sneaked out like an armed robber. And I went to the ground and I said, Father, you give men graces. A place that prays 24 hours non-stop and has been doing it before you were born and they've not stopped till today. There must be a grace there. Father, let that grace land upon this head because there are many things that I need. When I listened to the material of Dr. Mike Mudok, where mediocres were busy criticizing, some of us were discerning and judging by the Spirit. And we saw that, you see, the truth is that when God has chosen, He has chosen. Yours is to believe and align or argue and perish. Are we together now? And some of us with the simplicity, knowing the, this dimension of God's wisdom, I started to pursue individuals by the grace of God and by the Spirit of God that we're not is one thing to be a career but it's another thing to be God's conduit point of manifesting that possibility hallelujah yeah there are many 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 people Many people who have not tapped into this wisdom as a man of God. You can see every man of God and just believe we're all colleagues. After all, we're preaching. High five, high five. And you greet, share the grace and go back. And no door is opening. I wish I were not the one teaching this. But you see, this is not human worship. I told you one time by the grace of God, I was praying. We had begun to experience increase, but I knew there was a greater level. And the Lord gave me an instruction. He said, soon I will tell you. And when that time comes, you will go and meet God's servant, Bishop Oedeko. And there is something, there is a grace that you are going to receive. I remember that morning, God just told me, this is the day. I got up and I was on my way to Lagos. I carried a seed. You know, there are seeds that when you carry bar. Even the devil cannot stop you. The weight of you, you, he's going to clear the way and say, the kind of determination this man is coming with. Let me attack tomorrow, not today. 
And by the privilege of God's grace, had the honor of going there, did whatever I had to do. And when I came out, there in Canaan land, the Lord told me, place your hand on the ground. I placed my hand there and he said, from today, you have entered the overflow anointing. Can I tell you, when you carry certain graces, it shows. If you have to tell people you carry it, you don't have it. Are we together? A woman who is nine months pregnant and said, don't play with me, I'm pregnant, is most likely lying. Because even if it's a rabbit you are carrying, at nine months, it will be clear. Am I right on that? The meaning of all this is that in the name of Jesus, whatever has stopped you from moving forward, there is a wisdom that must land on your destiny this night. <laughs> Whilst we're preparing for the building project, I will announce to you, I just said, Lord, building projects of ministries a size like this, I mean, it's going to be so enormous and it is you that grants wisdom. Please, I don't want to ever assume I am still your boy -o. I've not graduated myself to become your colleague. I'm still that boy you found. So come to me as a father and help me. And here was the Lord. Came and brought a strategy. And said with this strategy, absolutely nothing will stop you. And I said, this is it. Absolutely. It's not pride. It's the truth. So you see, those who access the wisdom of God, when you look at them, they will turn around. You will think, what, what exactly about your life produces that result? It is not you. It is something within you and something upon you. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your mind. Your mind is so full of me. I'm taking out time to teach you. I'm, I'm sure you're surprised that I'm teaching seriously during a miracle service because I want you, this is what God told me. If it's freedom you are looking for, for many of us, what you need to do is to pray and say, Lord, I will wait until it comes. What is the it? Not just the will of God. You already know what is the strategy. Some of you started running without the strategy. You just felt God has called me into ministry. On your mark set, you shot the gun by yourself. Now you've been running in cycles for years. Spiritual men stay till they receive the will and the wisdom. The will and the wisdom. Lord, there has to be a way. Now they've increased school fees. Two times the amount. Three times the amount. Lord, you've given me two children and you gave me 11 others from my relatives. You are the one who asked me to take care of them. There must be a way. Instead of saying, I'm tired, 10 of you are going back to the village and you, you destroy somebody who God was supposed to raise through you. The problem is not the economy. I'm telling you sincerely. The problem is the strategy. You have not received it yet. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? There has to be a way. And in the midst of that prayer, God can give you an instruction. Send a text to this person and just greet him. Don't ask for money. Don't do anything. And you send that text at that point. If you miss that point, you have missed that season. The wisdom of God. is God who knows what is connecting. And the person just calls you and says, you, can you imagine? Your feet is ordered by the Lord. Oh, we are in the middle of it. Do you have a job? They say, no. He said, come. NLNG asked me to bring two people. Are you ready to be the first person? And you just say, I, I was lucky. You were not lucky. It was the wisdom of God. It's naive people that call it luck. Do you know, I have taught you how prophecy happens in the life of people. When I speak over your life and say, in the name of Jesus, let doors be open. Once you receive it. The Holy Spirit moves upon your life as the spirit of wisdom. It is the wisdom of God that translates prophecy to become manifestation. The wisdom of God guides you, leads you, brings a feeling in your heart. I should just go and buy bread in the shop. 
Why did you not wait till evening? What is suddenly making you want to go to the mall to buy bread? It's not your desire. It's the wisdom of God in partnership with prophecy. As soon as you get into that mall, here is a manager also shopping. If you were to come to his office, the PA will drive you. But God made you to meet in the mall. And you say, good afternoon, ma. Please, can you help me? And she says, ah, this is the wrong place, but I don't know you collect my number. Listen, let me tell you the truth. If you are waiting for one to add to one to equals two, get ready to suffer in this wicked world. The probability for your rising will be just a little above zero. But tap into the wisdom of God and watch the things that look like coincidences. I have met people today who have become marvelous advantages in my life. Some of them, I remember a man of God who wanted to meet me, true story, or was it a man, a businessman? And he was sitting down and then we were, we were traveling somewhere and all of a sudden I just sit down and this man is saying, praise God. Praise God. He could not believe it. He said, Apostle, let me tell you the truth. I've been praying to meet you and it was very difficult. I knew if I come for Koinonia, it would be difficult. But now you are sitting down near me and for all through this flight, two of us are not going anywhere. Now is the opportunity for the guy. Now, it may look like a coincidence, but ask why you were not the one sitting there. Hallelujah. God himself. I told you a story here, a true story. And I'm not encouraging lateness or inefficiency. But someone who woke up late to go, you know, to I think some interview or so. And he woke up late. He was already, he, he already knew that that was over for him. As far as the job is concerned. Do you know that lateness in his sincerity of heart. He was praying and saying, Lord, forgive me. And he gets to the elevator and finds out that the GM was also going up. He came late oh, and he, co he collided with the man. And he started pleading and saying, sir, I'm late. And the man said, no problem. He held his hand and he was the first to get that job. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. I'm not saying you will go late, you will not meet any GM. So let's balance this now. I'm speaking to the whole world. Because the Bible said, be careful how you hear. Believers are funny people. They can hear something else while you are shouting another thing. So let me just say it. I'm not encouraging laziness. But I am saying this is how determined God can go to make his wisdom speak for you. If you know this, you will not cry over situations as though there were no hope. Because the Bible says, for we know that all things. It is because of this wisdom that all things can work together. Hallelujah. People have, people have met, collided with miracles in strange places. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm telling you? I know a man, true story, who found his business partner at a funeral. They went to bury somebody. And while people were crying, he just sat down and one thing led to the other. They started discussing. Today, those people are very, very wealthy people. Funeral. By the privilege of God's grace, there are people God has granted me the privilege and the honor of helping. And it was in strange places, strange circumstances brought them to my life. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. Carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of love. You'll be surprised that there's someone who should help you and the man will vow and say in the name of Jesus I will never never help you then one day the person suddenly starts feeling pain somewhere and they tell the person look the only person within reach to help you is that man you say you don't want to see you don't want to see him but he's carrying an anointing that you need and then I've taught you that every man's need is his point of contact. They will invite you. And by the time God uses you, you were to beg the man for 100,000. But the man gives you 10 million to say thank you for healing me. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? 
Listen, it's time for you to shake away this level of your life. Make up your mind that, Lord, I'm tired of dwelling in this realm. The wisdom that I need. I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being limited. I'm tired of the pain in my heart. Being afraid of coming out in the morning because I do not have resources or I do not know what to do. I am your son. I am your child. I didn't birth myself here on earth. Lord, I give you room to take responsibility as Abba Pata over my life. Let your wisdom come and redefine the next season of my life. You may be a man of God. Stop trying to copy things just because you see it working for others. You will copy and waste money and get into trouble. Lord, grant me wisdom. You are the one who gave me this ministry. What is the secret? What is the strategy? As great as this ministry is, can you imagine that until now, we do not hold conferences and conventions. I'm not daft. I've read a lot of books about church planting. We have a lot of people we have raised by the Spirit of God who are doing great things for the kingdom. I'm not ignorant, I tell you, as to what it makes ministry work. I don't claim to know everything, but by the privilege of God's grace, God has granted us access to the ears and the eyes and the heart of those who know how to make this thing work. Yet, his wisdom, God gave an instruction do not hold conferences, do not hold conventions until I speak to you. And not the size of the ministry will make me ever disobey him. Until he came and said, go and do a conference in UK. I want to glorify myself through you. And look what he did. You see, let me tell you, the path of a spiritual man is very strange. Except that you cannot deny the results. Cannot deny the results. You cannot deny the results. You are a man of God. God can be leading you. You are raising others and sending them to ministry. And for you, God will say, do not start any work. Sit down. And you will feel insulted. Because if you had started ministry, you will be 10 years, 20 years, having a great ministry. People that you have raised may even be doing great. And God says, sit down. You just obey him all and stay. Watch what his wisdom keeps doing in your life. One step after the other one step after the other for some of you while you want to go somewhere god will give you a scripture and isaac sowed in that land oh abuja is too difficult i need to run away let me go back to my village and god will say no your destiny is here you can choose to disobey me or you can stay here and believe me there is something i want to teach you it's not a job i cannot give you but i am using your situation to train you there is something you need to become you need to know me as jaira Hallelujah. And sometimes you will stay. No food in the morning. But you are just praying. You are not irresponsible. Your certificate is there lying. And you are praying. Lord, listen. Can I tell you? Every time you are tempted to complain. Turn your complaint to this prayer. Lord, birth your will through this situation. You have defeated that situation. Birth your will through this situation. Oh, I lost a loved one. This was the breadwinner in our family. Lord, what do we do now? I'm teaching you something. Birth your will through this situation. It's an ancient formula that God taught me. You don't see me praying prayers of lamentation and saying, God, why now? <clears throat> the prayer of spiritual men is, Lord, birth your will. Whether it's through your pain, whether it's through your disappointment, whether it's through your loss, whether it's through your victory. Anything you connect to the will of God no longer becomes a disadvantage. Anything, including death. You lost your loved one, father, mother, brothers, and you are there. Instead of just praying and saying, you know what, God, stop this senator from sleeping. That is witchcraft. Don't pray that kind of prayer until you know what you are saying. Why shouldn't the man sleep? He has a wife and children. Are we together? There are conditions where you pray that prayer. Most of these prayers are prayers of immaturity and selfishness and lust. You pray that I shouldn't sleep for your sake. If you mean the work of a shepherd to get up and pray. It's none of your business the time I wake up and pray for you. Just know I'm praying for you. But where you now instruct God that I should not sleep. You, that, that's an antichrist spirit. I'm saying that so we are careful some of these things that we say. I know what you mean. Give him no rest. I understand what you mean. But as you rise to maturity, you need to also hear what you are saying. 
And if what you are saying is not correct, keep quiet, re-edit your understanding. Are we together? the hidden wisdom of God 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 ordained for your glory ah. ordained for your glory ladies and gentlemen I want you to trust me trust what I'm teaching you this is how ordinary men become champions how else do you think men rise you cannot manipulate your way politically to be, to fulfill destiny destiny is not politics no destiny is beyond the academia the variables required for a man's excelling are many you need the wisdom of God to piece them together to produce victory in your life one can say yes and another variable can say no and your life is pegged at a, a point for many many decades hallelujah i believe with all my heart that one of the things that god is doing tonight is giving us profound encounters by the spirit of the living god hallelujah I want to do something very prophetic now and I want you to listen this will usher us into our prayers if I don't get I will pray for the sick and pray for everybody but it will be a quick walk tonight but I want you to listen hallelujah I went to the place of prayer and while I was praying as I heard the word freedom I was meditating 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 in my spirit and then all of a sudden, I know when that glory comes. That Shekinah just came and mantled me and covered me. I started shaking like a leaf. And all of a sudden, I found myself singing a song. I started uttering words and songs, songs by the Spirit. And I said, what is the meaning of this? The song just began to come by the Spirit. And God told me that it is with this song, that he's going to do many things this night to tell you how serious it is i'm even going to have to play the song to remember it i wrote it down and i sent to these guys and so that you don't think that this is something that is, is i had to do a rehearsal and i told myself i said what is this and the lord said i want to impart i want to give my people the gift of wisdom i want you to know how god works you see, you are a spiritual man. You need to learn to discern. We are organized people. But many people cannot get into prophetic things because you do not know that songs are ladders in the spirit. Sit down, sit down. I've, I've not, listen. I'm going to play it for you. This is, I don't even, until I play it, I may not even remember it. This is before the whole world. This is me recording where I don't know where this volume is. Watch this. Hold on, just a moment. So here's what it sounds like. was under the anointing by the Spirit of God. I'm going to sing it now for you. You just listen. I receive manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive Hallelujah. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Very simple song. 
says, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Now listen, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted, I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, say breathe Lord. Shema 
Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one two three take that grace now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe lord Lift it up, 
exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down i want you to bring them out as god breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now satan by the breath of the spirit let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your, power your, wisdom, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas kobarakosiata, egra kapaskalika paruziata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. His power, 
receive, manifest his wisdom, his power, receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted till the nations see Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick work. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea and the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times, just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen, and the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life.
trusting God for the fruit of the womb lay your hands whether for you or for someone you can stand for someone you are a man you can stand for your wife I want to make this declaration God does not lie in the name of Jesus the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft my God I'm just seeing fire burning things that look like threats in the name of Jesus Christ at the instruction of the spirit I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ receive your miracle children receive your miracle children receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing man to you wherever you are you are a man of God here I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word receive it in the name of Jesus now hear me ladies and gentlemen one of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the Holy Spirit room to search the mind of the Father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the Spirit I want to declare there is a baptism that God wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone you came here. You could not move your neck very well. I want you to check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. You are wearing like green or lime, something like that. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is there someone like that? Come. Come. Where? Why are they clapping? Check yourself and come. A miracle has happened to you now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Upon my life. Sing, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Madam, you have a problem. What, what, did, what was the problem? For some times now, I've been feeling hotness in this side of my body. Just today, the team moved. Madam, look at me. I want Sorry. look at me. I want to pray for you so that we we'll save time. I'm seeing that the devil 
brought stroke. This thing would have led to stroke. You've been feeling half of you. It's as if you feel numbness yes, sometimes. Yes, yes. I want you to stand up. Yes. Check your neck now. Move it. Don't be afraid. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Move it. Any pain. Look at this. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body, we command it back to hell where it came from. Back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use Mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. That is only a matter of time. Believe me, I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. I declare, come out of that demonic coffin now. Come out of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State and the Lord is telling me that the power of God is coming upon you. There is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft, witchcraft that does not allow people rise. This is Edo State in the name that is above all names. I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply wherever you are. In the main auditorium, all the overflows are following online. That demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this. But I'm hearing in my spirit now. And the Lord is saying, announce it openly. The Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country that he will not fall and go the way of the grave. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I would not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave by the mercies of God we decree and declare may they be preserved Amen. by the mercies of God may they be preserved Amen. one of these my ushering ladies I know you people are walking but the power of God is coming on one of you God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he has brought answers to it the prayer you have been praying for a long time the prayer you have been praying for a long time even though you are ushers you are serving but God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he's bringing answers to it the prayer you have been praying for a long time in the name of Jesus I decree and declare as God is touching them every long-standing prayer point that you have written and written and written and written again may my God arise and breathe upon that prayer right now Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one, I'm the one praying, quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again, I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any, may the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. 
place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai, I want to pray for you. Um, because what you, are, what you think is just a lump and pain, I want to cause it. I'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous. And the Lord wants me to rebuke it. You just think it's just a lump. But this thing is the devil wanting to put. I hope you know that cancer is a spirit. Do you know that? Please believe it. Any daughter of Abraham here. That the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body. I stand by the God who sent me. For your sake. I decree and declare. Tonight cancer dies from your body. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick, you came with a sick person, you can release your faith. And I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service. All the hospitals that are following right now, you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands or if the patients are unconscious, you can leave them. The loved ones who are there with them can stand. I'm about to pray. We want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now. Please, I want you to believe healing is real. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood, be healed from it now. Yeah. HIV be healed. Yeah. Diabetes be healed. Yeah. Arthritis be healed. Yeah. Blindness be healed. Yeah. Deafness be healed. Yeah. Pile be healed. Yeah. Kidney problems be healed. Yeah. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion. I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit. Both men and women, from the family you come from, there is a spirit. I'm not asking you to come out. This is the spirit of drunkenness. You love God, oh, but you cannot see alcohol. It's not like whether you are good or bad. I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God, where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. 
and then I am praying right now. Please take it seriously. I curse the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer, but particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter because these are forces that have tied down the family and they love God. In Jesus' name, I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence, any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the Spirit and I declare may that Spirit be banished from your family. May that Spirit be banished from your family. Hallelujah. Banished from your family. Now very quickly we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Sing any part you can remember. While we are singing it, please collect the prayer request. Let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you. Hallelujah. Write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord. And I assure you that by the God of heaven, you will watch the wonder that will happen. Those outside, those inside, you can submit your prayer request. If your, if your request has not been collected, just wave it, let the usher see it very quickly. Now you pass it to the last, the aisle by the left or right. No one will read it, don't worry. Just pass it so that quickly, if you are yet to write a few things, please release your faith. Let me give you a minute. And those who are following from across the nations, write your request very quickly. This is the time when God will be visiting people mightily. You came here. Make sure that your faith is enlarged. Hallelujah. Have you learned the song now? Or do we need to do any rehearsal again? Yeah. 
prayer. Turn it to a prayer now. Everyone, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. When this song came to me by the Spirit, that was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you are saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests, you are saying breathe. We are asking him. It's not the kneeling down of Joshua Selman that makes these prayers to be answered. God gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of Christ. This is not just to koinonia. That's going to be our prayer. Please submit your requests very quickly. We are going to sing this song one twice. Once, twice and then I speak over this request. And then I will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit according to isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom let me prophesy receive manifest his power his wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, receive, manifest his power, his wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. in genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the bible says verse 2 that god caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth so the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things it's not only life when you are saying breathe upon me you are saying Lord 
breathe upon everything. Let shame go as you breathe. Let reproach go as you breathe. Let everything that is not of God, a cupboard, the name that have been named, people have mocked your God. You are saying, Lord, breathe upon me. And for some of you who are saying there is no life in me, I don't even have hope to move forward. You are saying, breathe life into me. You are still going to sing this song. Now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray. The breath of God, Ruach, Numa, the wind of the spirit, I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound, a sound. And he said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds and say, all wind, breathe upon this lane. And the wind came upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army. Sing the song one last time with understanding in your heart. Breathe, Lord.
breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. That everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. For some of you, it arrives Monday. For some Tuesday. For some tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the living God. And hear me, every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names, wherever they are, by the power of the prophetic, we call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. Therefore, I stand upon this request and I declare, these Egyptians that you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That gentleman there, lifting up your shoes. Come. You are a footballer, huh? Where? In this Abuja. You believe in what you are doing? Yes, sir. Do you believe there is a grace? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you go to Europe. Amen. Is that your passport you're holding? Yes, sir. Your passport? Yes, sir. You came with your passport? Yes, sir. My friend, do you believe this? Yes, sir. Learn your skill to play. But my dear one, let me tell you, the hand of God can come upon men Amen. and pick ordinary men. Amen. That you believe this and you have come. Yes. Let me pray for you. When I, I saw it, I, I was just stirred in my heart. Remember, Amen. what God says to one, he says to all. It's not, this is not, hallelujah. It doesn't mean that if God does not, it, I don't have to call you, we'll spend the night doing that. Yours is for you to believe. Where are you from? Enugu State, Osoka. There is somebody that God is going to connect you to. Amen. He belongs to a football club called Eimba. Yes. I don't know any much about football or whatever it is, but you just believe from there. God is going to open you up. Amen. And you, will be, you will be surprised. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have granted us grace to lift men. Who is Silas? Silas. Silas. I'm hearing the name Silas. We may not have. I really want to pray to minister to the sick. Silas, where are you? Your story is about to change. Oh, you're a worker here. Silas. Your name is Silas? What do you do? I'm an architect. What do you do? I, I'm working on, uh, in the poultry farm. Okay, let me pray for you. He said, thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Father, I stretch my hands over Silas. Mariam, I'm hearing the name Mariam. Mariam, Mariam. Who is Mariam? Please make sure we don't just jump out. If you are not the one, even if it's your sister, just stand where you are and receive. Once you are not the person, your name is Mariam. Where are you traveling to? Sir. Huh? Canada. You are going to Canada. Yes, sir. When? We're processing it. My husband is there already. Did you tell me? No, How sir. do I look at you and know you are going to Canada? My dear, look at me. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something stopping you and 
I don't mean to embarrass you well, but we have to pray so that they don't bring a report from the hospital that will stop you from going. It is God that lifts men and it is God that helps men. Hallelujah. Where are you from, my dear, this lady? From Imo State, Ma. Sir. I want to pray for you. Thank you, sir. In the name of Jesus, Mariam. There are two people here. I'm hearing the cry of children, like children, babies. I'm hearing, I'm not saying you should come out, but I'm going to pray. I know I will have the time to speak, but I'm hearing the cry of children. And the Lord is telling me to release someone's child prophetically in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is, but this moment, as you are connected by faith in the name of Jesus, Saposh Kali Karo Sadinaka. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you, Mariam, you have come here in the name of Jesus. My dear, the one whose husband is in Canada, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, let the right of way be given to you. Right now, I release grace upon you. Find favor favor with the embassy in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing the lord is saying i should tell somebody weep not weep not the book is open weep not the book is open you have cried and cried and cried this is not just prophetic this is physical tears weep not the book is open in the name of jesus i'm declaring by the spirit Rako I'm talking to one of you in front here. Weep not. The book is open. Weep not. The book is open. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare because the book is open. Let crying and mourning come to an end now. Let crying and mourning come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. My footballer friend, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May God grant you grace that one day you will come and stand here and testify before the people of God. In Jesus' name I pray. And architect grace for you, I decree and declare. May God open doors that will surprise you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now there's someone I usually would not, God bless you, I would not do this but God is insisting. You have a court case. I don't just mean a serious court case. I don't know who that is. God is just asking me to announce that you have a court case. This is a serious issue and the Lord wants to show you mercy here. Who is that person? Come. You are wearing white. A court case. Is there someone like that? You have a court case. I want to pray for you. If God brought you out, it's because he wants to change your story. Please, if God calls your case, would you just double up so that we'll hurry up and pray to help us to attend to others too. Who is Adamo? Adamo. Ah, God, oh. What's your name? Where are you coming from? Yobi. I will pray for you. What is your name? Dominion, sir. Huh? Dominion. Sir, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Don't be embarrassed. Huh? You yes. are in trouble. This trouble that I see you in, if God does not help you, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you behind bars. Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. You understand what I'm saying? I do, I sir. don't mean to embarrass you. I do, But sir. what you need is to pray for the mercy of God. Yes, sir. Because justice, the assignment of justice is to have its course. But yes, now sir. we are standing to pray for mercy. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, so I, I will not say more than that. But God is going to, we are going sir, to pray. Sir, I'm being summoned by a shrine. I'm supposed to die next tomorrow. My friend, don't worry. Just... You didn't have to. Don't worry. When you see me conceal certain things, don't worry. My own is to pray for you. Okay? Hello, Madonna. and have mercy upon Zion. 
for the time to favor her. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus because the Lord brought you here tonight. Let tonight for some of you be a night of mercy. Let tonight be a night of mercy. Let tonight be a night of mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? There are three of you here. The kind of money you are owing now, there is nobody on his own who will give you that money. You have missed the deadline by at least four months. You are in trouble right now. You need the mercy of God. The thing is not about begging the bank to give you another loan. There is a spirit behind this. No matter, see, look, I'm not against loan. Listen to me now, so don't misunderstand me. But you collect loan with the waster. There is a spirit called the waster. As you are collecting it, something will happen and you will keep going down until you are left with nothing. How do you think the wife of the sons of the prophet was so in debt that they were about to carry the children? It's good to do business. You can collect loan. There are many bankers here, but receive this grace first. Then whatever you have can now profit you. The prophet had to speak first. He said, go and borrow. So borrowing is not wrong, but borrow when you receive prophecy first. Personally, you know, but I respect whatever it is, but make sure that there are no spirits standing behind to just waste your resources. How many of you have tried to pour water in a basket? You pour water, will it ever get filled? No. You can stand there for 38 years trying to fill a basket. The first thing is to mend, to take away that basket and have a correct container. And in five minutes, your container will be filled. It's not that you are wrongly positioned. It's that what you are holding is not what the water can fill. Let me pray for you. You will watch the wonder-working power of the prophetic. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I believe in the lion, I believe in the lamb, I call the lion, I call the lamb. Jesus, I declare supernatural help for you now. For those who have been appointed unto death, I call on the God of my covenant. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the helpers that must arise and help you to take away shame and embarrassment. And hear me, for anyone here who is being oppressed because you do not have someone to help you, I pray, let Ebenezer arise now. I'm not just praying for those in front. I'm praying for someone who is scattered. Anywhere you have been oppressed, I call on Ebenezer to arise for you now. Arise for you now. Arise for you now in the name of Jesus Christ And I declare the same way you came out here. You will come and stand to testify In the name of Jesus Christ 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 So shall it be God bless you. Please return to your seat rejoicing Hallelujah Hallelujah. How many of you are in business? Serious, active business and genuine, non-destructive business. Listen to my descriptions. I will never, never pray for anything that destroys genuine, scriptural business. Lift your hands and you are serious. I just sensed an anointing and I started seeing, you know how a printing, uh, this thing they use in the bank that prints money. What they call that thing? The counting machine. I just saw it now. And I know that there is a grace. I want to pray. Now, I know that there are people who think that, um, look, there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. Oh, believe it. I want to pray that prayer. There are two of you right now. There is a strong anointing. The business you are doing now is not what you will be doing to prosper. Two of you. An anointing is coming on you right now as I'm speaking. Da -da 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 -da. Ta da 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 da. 
I want to pray for you. Please believe this prayer and you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God is able to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, even as you have opened my eyes to see, I don't know whose hands these resources have must enter, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of he who died and rose from the dead, even the one who helps men, I release these resources to your hands now. I release these resources to your hands now. Speedily so. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When Elisha prophesied and said, by this time tomorrow, there was a man who looked and said, forget it. Even if God will open the windows of heaven, might these things be? And Elisha looked at him and said, because you have insulted God, you have insulted the prophetic, your eyes will see it so that you will know God is just, but you will not eat of it. And they trampled that man at the gate of breakthrough. One step for him to enter, he died because of unbelief. Let me pray for someone again who was too afraid to receive the first time. Perhaps because you think the amount you need is much. I'm talking of God who is Ebenezer, the stone of help. I decree and declare one more time, may these resources enter your hand. May these resources enter your hands. Hallelujah. On one hand, someone has never experienced as in the manner of women and on the other hand someone is bleeding and bleeding her health and her life almost going out there's a healing coming for someone right now this issue of this severe bleeding this thing has come with sometimes you stand and you start feeling dizzy because of the kind of problem that you have i'm going to pray for you because there is a miracle that is about this person I'm talking about. You don't need to come out. You are in the overflow outside. The overflow outside. There's a miracle that is about to happen to you now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, your left ear. Your left ear. You don't hear with it. Totally, I don't know whether you are here or you are you are following online, but I want to pray for you now. I began to hear a sound on my left ear, and the Lord said I should pray. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I pray for that person right now. May your ears be opened. May your ears be opened. May your ears be opened. And for that lady, I declare that this demonic hemorrhage, this bleeding, it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just saw light where the international guests are seated. I just saw light. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Please bring that person out when it happens. I just saw light. I don't know who is that person, but you came with hunger and you came with desperation. Bring the person out. Bring them. Please be patient. You are not wasting your time. I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother on a bed right now in a vision as I'm looking there's someone's mother on a bed in the hospital. Careful so that you don't. Where is she coming from? I'm seeing South Africa written on her. I don't know where this woman is coming from. Leave, leave her when she's ready. I'm seeing South Africa. I don't know whether it's her or whether it's someone else. But, but I'm seeing South Africa. And the Lord is asking me that she came to receive an anointing. This woman. Okay, when, 
when she's done but there is a spirit this woman needs to be delivered from a wicked spirit that has tied her life down let me stretch my hands and get that devil out of her first in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I command that devil in the name of Jesus by the decree of the watchers you live now never to return again in the name of Jesus that which has tied down her life tied down the prophecy over your head out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray fire is about to fall the Lord is asking me to count four and as I count four I'm seeing something that look like um, you know coals of fire is a mighty deliverance that is happening for people right now and the Lord is opening my eyes again I'm seeing people's right their right feet just the right feet tied to chains and then is hooked to a wall they can move but not beyond a certain circle it's not like you you are moving but once you get there it brings you down I don't know who those people are but I count four and you shout Jesus one my God two three four shout Jesus I break those chains now Bring them out. Bring them out very quickly. I break up a court secretary. I break those, help them please. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Please bring them out very quickly, very quickly. In the name of Jesus, I'm still praying. Your right leg is not complete delay, but you move and you are in cycles. I want to break you free from that demonic thing. Please, very quickly, whether you are an usher or not, help to bring them out. Let's save time. I'm praying again. At the count of three, shout the name Jesus. And that fire comes upon you, and that demonic embargo must leave you. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break you free. I break you free. He who the sun sets free is free indeed free indeed by the power of the holy ghost free indeed in the name of jesus the son of the living god free indeed by the power of the holy ghost please bring them out quickly so i can pray for them my dear where's where is she come i've been asking that question where are you from you're from where south africa Father, listen, I hope you are not embarrassed that I'm praying for you. Listen, my dear, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. You hear me? Because I'm praying for you, but there is something the devil has put in your stomach. And I want to pray for you. The Lord wants to bring you deliverance. I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every planting that is not of God, right now, I decree and declare, let that planting leave you now. Let that planting leave you now. Let that planting leave you now. Hallelujah. Let that planting leave you now. Now, there are families here that have been under. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. There are families here that never rise beyond a certain level. It's like an embargo has been placed. No matter, even some of them as I'm speaking, they are abroad. But it's the same thing they were facing in Nigeria here that they are still facing there. Because it's not just about the location. It's the grace that follows you. The Lord is asking me to release you from it. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. Every family that has been held down by witchcraft, held down by satanic things, right now i stretch my hands at the count of three let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come receive it now one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Sir, please can I pray for you? This, this man, no, this man, um, yes, come. 
I don't know you. I hope you are not embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Yes. I will pray for you, but this, this is the man I'm talking about. Yes. I want to pray for you. Two things, sir. Please don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down. Up and down. And when I see a thermometer like that, it usually is something that has to do with BP. I will pray for you. And then number two, I'm seeing you stand before a door. You are shaking the door, but it's refusing to open. You are shaking it and it's refusing to open. And the Lord is saying, he that has the key of David, that can open a door that no man can shut. I want to pray. Can I pray for you, sir? I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Everything wrong with your health and your blood pressure, I declare it comes down supernaturally right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then number two, that door that has refused to open, by the God of heaven, the holder of the key of David, may that door be opened now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sir, please, what do you do? I'm a Inabalo, sir. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. And every time I see climbing a ladder, this is increased promotion. And the Lord is saying, I should speak over your life. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ that you are here, but I'm seeing favor coming from Lagos. I don't know what that means. I stretch my hands. Let that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. For all of you in front, I curse every foul spirit. Every spirit that has tied your lives, your destinies, your families. In Jesus' name, be released now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be released now. The Lord showed me this vision. I'm still seeing it again. Someone's mother in a hospital. I'm seeing that vision repeated. If you're connecting online, no problem. You can release your faith. Mother in a hospital. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I pray. Okay, those who I can pray, but then I'm extending that prayer to everyone. Your mother is in the hospital. Right now, I decree and declare, Father, let the spirit of death, the manifestation of death, hell, and the grave, in the name of Jesus, we release your mothers wherever they are. We bring them healing. We bring them life. Healing, life. Healing, life. Healing, life. Healing life. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I will only speak as God leads me. But I want to pray for someone here. You're not going to come out. I will just pray for you. You see, it's good to be wise and it's good. As Christians, we need to be wise. I'm seeing a lady who met this man and in the name of love and relationship, you know, whatever is happening, then I'm turning and I'm seeing this man making a chant, calling the name of that person in the house of a, like a habalist, a shrine, as a sacrifice so that the person dies. So this, what is supposed to look like a relationship, is something that somebody will just hear that the person died and the man will say, I don't know what happened, whereas this is evil. I'm careful to say this thing so that it doesn't look like you are promoting the devil, but sometimes God allows you to say it to let you know that wickedness is real. In the name of Jesus, anyone who laughs with you in the open, but then in the secret, they are conspiring for your destruction. I call upon my God, who is also your God. I break you free from that demonic embargo. I break you free from that demonic embargo. And for this lady in question, in the name of Jesus, whatever has been done to kill you, whether by accident or whether by whatever it is, let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. I want to call an uncomfortable situation, but I'm praying, I'm praying that you have the courage to receive deliverance you are not a bad person but I need to pray for you there is a spirit when it comes upon you you cannot rest till you steal you are not you are, I will not call you a thief 
but this is something you have tried you have cried this thing and asked God to help you I want to pray for that person please sit for a moment come whoever that person is I'm not calling you to embarrass you don't sit back there I will continue and move forward but then I want to pray for that person I don't know who that person is whether you are inside you're outside make your way to the front don't be afraid come let's celebrate them as they come it takes a lot of courage don't be afraid my dear come and stand don't be afraid huh don't sit back if you know that you should be here and to be delivered once and for all there's nothing to be embarrassed we're a family of faith the bible says let him that thinks he stand take heed lest he fall so there's no laughing at anybody here this is god bringing deliverance some of these people can be more innocent than many of us here it's a spirit there are a few people you are not in this auditorium please come and join them very quickly i want to pray before i pray for the sick once it comes upon you you cannot rest until you find something to pick it is a trap by the enemy you see sometimes the devil brings people under some of these influences to destroy them if there's somebody to stand here run run if you're coming please run and come and stand let's celebrate them as they come come Listen, my dear people, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. I want you to know that this is a family that loves you. Nobody is calling you out here to embarrass you. No, you have come out before Jesus himself. And I can assure you that your deliverance comes to an end. Your, the, the oppression comes to an end. In Jesus' name. Place your hand on your chest and let me pray for you. Father, the Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the wicked. These people are sincere, I believe. This is a spirit, a wicked devil that wants to destroy their destinies. Therefore, I command the spirit and the influence that makes you to not rest till you steal. I command right now, be delivered from it this moment. Release them never to return to them again. In the name of Jesus, that urge to pick things, to steal things in the name of Jesus. And you know, stealing goes hand in glove with lying. Once you steal, you most likely will tell lies too. In the name of Jesus, I declare, be delivered right now. You will find out as you return that you will never, never have that urge to pick anything again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. You're coming up. Listen, you are to come here. You are strolling and I've finished praying now. When you be serious in the house of God, come. I'll pray for you. Hmm? Once we mention your case, we don't mean to embarrass you, but you... You, you come and receive to shame the devil once and for all. God bless you, eh, my sister. Thank you for your courage. My friend, are you coming here too? Run and come and stand. If We are not saying you are a thief. If you have a problem with it, we'll deal with it. Please come. We hail you. We worship you. We hail I'm going to pray for you. You are just two years, but you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Usually, I would just do it when I'm doing a general prayer, but I'm saying this because of a peculiar situation that is currently happening in your marriage now, that if God does not arrest the situation, it can scatter that marriage. Two years, you've not had a child. Who is that person? Come. God wants to end that situation. Come. My glory... You lift my head, husband and wife. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Husband and wife, too. Two years. Come. How many of you know that God is changing lives tonight? Hallelujah. Okay, this one still to pray. My little one, what's your name? Look at this beautiful girl. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Look yes. at me, darling. The devil is a liar, eh? Yes, I'm going sir. to pray for you and you will never steal anything again. Yes, you are sir. a nice lady. You will become a very, very great lady. Yes, sir. This one's are, did you have you are coming out for the case I mentioned. Two years. Okay. Huh? Oh. You two? Two years. Okay, let me pray for this, my people. Father, in Jesus' name, just praying for this one's first. 
that spirit of stealing in the name of Jesus I declare you have come to open up yourself before the Lord may he show you mercy Amen. that wicked satanic demonic influence is over right now Amen. in Jesus name the ones who came out here with my little daughter there you can go back to your seat let's celebrate them then these ones appreciate them as they go two years the Lord is asking me to pray I know there are people with more but because of a peculiar situation I'm seeing within the family I want to pray my dear look at me this lady shout Jesus, Jesus! out of her now in the name of Jesus my dear look at me husband and wife yeah, he, okay. went, he went to the hospital. His elder brother is in the sick bed in Adgar Key Hospital, sir. We are supposed to be here together, but he's there. Mm. You believe that Jesus Christ will do a miracle for you? Yes, sir. I stretch my hands. I'm already even seeing an anointing upon Amen. you. Father, show mercy. Let this satanic thing leave this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, all of you, help her, please. The Lord brought you out here to show you mercy. Hallelujah. And I want you, I hope everybody here, I'm seeing those outside in the overflows. Don't worry, stand by faith. All down to the basement, outside. I'm about to pray for you. You don't have to come here directly. Just stand there. If you are husband and wife, you stand near one another. I want to pray for you. If your spouse is not here, you can stand by faith. Hallelujah. You've heard the testimony. Of the lady here you've heard many many testimonies listen to me listen to me there is absolutely nothing that God cannot do yes father I stretch ah. okay let's pray let me first let me first I just saw something that looked like a dark shadow just hovering around like two of you and I want to pray right now. I command this satanic influence right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, release them now. Release them now. That appears to you in the dream like a man, another husband, trying to molest you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of deep. Say the resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. In the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now according to the time of life I decree and I declare by the God who has sent and anointed me regardless what the situation is in the name of Jesus return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus whatever needs to leave your stomach to give space for your baby we command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus and for one of you the trouble you are having with your family members this is one of the reasons why I believe God acts here because I'm seeing a conversation happening and they are saying if by September we don't hear anything let's look for another person this is why God acts that we should deal with that situation because there are I don't encourage that we are believers but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare as I'm praying for them I'm praying for someone quarter to shame may God arise and vindicate you quarter to shame may my God arise and give you a testimony in the name of Jesus I declare return with your miracle children in Jesus much less name we pray amen and amen God bless you please return back to your seat I want to pray for the sick. I'm seeing. I want to pray, but I'm seeing that the Lord is asking me to pray for people with high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Stand. You know it. You, you high any trace of BP. Please.
please I want to pray lay your hands there just believe believe rest we have a lot of doctors here but now you believe I'm speaking to you by faith lay your hands there I want to pray for you you're outside you're inside across the globe following lay your hands I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God high blood pressure father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God when you reveal it is for redemption I stretch my hands over everyone here across the overflows and following from across the nations of the earth suffering from high blood pressure in the name of Jesus I decree and declare supernaturally may your blood pressure go down to normal now may your blood pressure go down to normal now may your blood pressure go down to normal now in the name of Jesus Christ now everyone who is trusting God for healing let's all rise I want to pray for the sick now please let's all rise if you can the healing ministry of Jesus is real he heals and when he comes he can set free how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth the Bible declares with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about healing all not some all they that were oppressed of the devil sickness is an oppression of the devil I want you to lay your hands right now you've heard several testimonies lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle please go ahead if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lay your hands. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. Lay your hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, on ground, online, the spirit that is back of that sickness, back of that infirmity, in the name of Jesus, I command that you be separated from that spirit now. Shout a loud amen. Shout a loud amen again. And I declare right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood condition be healed now HIV be healed now all kinds of blood conditions be healed now genotype issues be corrected now heart conditions be healed now bone conditions you're having a problem with any part of your joints your bones be healed now you have a problem hearing let your ears be open now I command your eyes to begin to see now in the name of Jesus every organ that has failed or is failing I declare brand new organs to your body now brand new organs to your body now brand new organs to your body now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm hearing in my spirit blocked fallopian tubes in the name of Jesus let it be open now whoever that is for let it be open now in the name of Jesus there is someone you have a problem your heart is getting enlarged you are not even aware you just know that there's severe pain and you get tired I would advise you to see a doctor but I want to pray for you now in the name of Jesus that enlarged heart I Command it to come to normal. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
you are not young but you are beginning to see signs of unease that can be traceable to autism in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now and speaking about autism I pray if there's anyone here who has a child or connecting across the globe with any autistic child autistic patient in the name of Jesus we restore normalcy to their minds we restore normalcy in the name of Jesus The Lord is asking me to pray for a woman. You have children, but your prayer has been that God will give you a man-child, a boy. And while that may be silly for others, there is a serious implication to that prayer and you are praying it sincerely from your heart. The Lord is saying I should stand like Eli stood to speak to Hannah, that in the name of Jesus Christ, may your next pregnancy be a boy as you have desired. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ someone you are having severe problems with your kidneys in the name of Jesus Christ let the power of God touch you right now supernaturally you can walk but you have excruciating pain especially around your left side in the name of Jesus Jesus is healing you right now supernaturally in Jesus name now I'm seeing a woman in my vision you sleep but if you sleep for just an hour or two when you wake up you are not able to sleep again no matter what happens you are not able to sleep I pray for that person my Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep therefore I decree and declare find sleep now in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I've mentioned your case or not by the power that raised Jesus from the dead be healed now in fact I'm seeing someone you are suffering from pneumonia pneumonia in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now and there's someone you have a very serious this is an infection this is something that you have tried to treat it again and again and it has refused to go it's something that is very embarrassing i decree and declare in the name of jesus that shame and that reproach let it leave now once and for all in the name of jesus christ let it leave you once and for all let it leave you once and for all peptic ulcer the lord heals you now peptic ulcer the Lord heals you now there is someone this thing happened towards the end of last year into this year your vision has started getting blurry at first you started seeing like objects floating this is what I'm seeing and right now it looks like your right eye vision there is diminishing quite seriously I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare 20 your vision comes back to normalcy right now I'm seeing a gentleman I've prayed for a few people with that situation all your teeth your your entire um, teeth is getting soft and it's almost like it's getting maybe some cavity problem that is affecting everything if I don't pray for you to almost be as if you are an old person because your teeth will keep pulling out with what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead this embarrassment let it come to an end now let it come to an end now there's someone you have severe heart palpitations especially when you lie down or when you walk any strenuous walk you start breathing like someone who is walking out and this thing is affecting you you are not someone who is on the weighty side it's just some oppression in the name of Jesus your entire respiratory system is sanitized now <laughs> sanitized now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus hence you have come here be completely healed be completely healed be completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit now very quickly I want us to take two or three minutes to pray while 
um, I get your prayer request here. So everyone, how many of you are here to write your requests? Sit down for a moment and let me give you a minute or two. Please finish up your request and then pass it to the person, the, whoever it is by the last aisle, whether left or right. Ushers, please, let's do this very quickly. If you are done with your prayer request, just pass it to the ushers and begin to pray in the spirit as you open up your heart. I'll give you a few prayer points and then when you pray, I want to lay my hands on your prayer request. Is someone praying in the spirit? You can pray in the spirit while you're writing. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Kalibo Grande gadaso tekele kosiata. If there are no ushers close to you, just wave it. They will see it and then ushers, please identify them. Let's have someone here. By the way, you can also write quickly for someone, your, a loved one you are trusting. Go ahead. And those who are online, sending your requests. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, we're going to be praying right now. Trusting the Lord. The Bible says, unto he that answers prayer shall all flesh come. As you're submitting it, believe by faith that this that you're writing, you heard the testimony of the gentleman, that every single thing, every single thing, it is very possible that every single thing can be solved. According to Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1, Genesis 24 and verse 1, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Bible says the Lord had blessed him in all things, not some things, in all things. Someone is praying in the spirit. You are crying out and you are saying, Lord, in this season and in this special miracle service, I'm trusting you that every single thing I have written, every single desire, you are praying now. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. He says, When ye pray, believe that ye receive them and thou shall have them. When we have the prayer request, please quickly let's begin to bring them so that we can pray. I want to take some time and seriously pray on these requests. I love to pray on the requests because it's the most accurate representation of your desires. There's a lady waving her hands there. There are people waving their hands. Ushers, please identify them. All the overflows down to the basement outside. Let's be sure that um, we get it as, as fast as possible. Give me a testimony. Someone is praying. Give me a testimony. Proof that I encountered your grace. Proof that I encountered your power. Give me a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. I'm seeing the kind of fire that you see on a candle. I'm seeing it come on four people while you are praying right now. Four people. And the Lord is saying he's igniting the next dimension of your life and ministry. Four people. Four people. This is what I see in my visions. I release it. I release it. That fire in the name of Jesus. I release it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I open you up by this fire to a new dimension. A new dimension, a new experience in the spirit. My God, a new experience. Neither do men light a lamp. Ah, there will not be silence in your life again. It's time to begin to make news for the kingdom. That unction that is coming upon you from heaven. Empowering you by the spirit of the living God. A new chapter in your life. A new chapter in ministry. A new chapter in your endeavors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace of God speaking fully, speaking fully. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Wherever I am afraid. I will trust in you, I will trust in you, let the weak 
say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. I want you to write it in two weeks a supernatural job is coming I saw it in the spirit write it down I speak to you by the God who has sent me eight people the Lord showed me in I'm not saying one month I'm not saying three weeks in two weeks let me say it again in the name of Jesus Christ it will surprise you how God will do it Listen, despise not prophesying. The word of God is powerful. Let me say it again. There are eight people the Lord showed me in two weeks. In the name of Jesus, my God will give you a job that will surprise you. For some of you, you, you will be one of you. You will be the first out of five people. Who is going to have that job you are five i'm seeing you will be the first out of five people that all graduates all doing well but it looks like a job the only person i think one of you works maybe with one telecommunications company and that was it but my god is giving you a job that will surprise you <laughs> hallelujah you believe that There's someone here, the Lord is speaking to me that he's going to connect you to the governor of your state. Yeah. Hear what I'm telling you. There is a vacancy for you. God himself is going to put... Don't think I'm just speaking. No, believe it. I'm saying it again, that the Lord is connecting you to the governor of your state. sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph I'm saying this because I'm seeing destiny about to happen for someone that listen listen before you say amen that somebody you did not expect listen just believe me the person is not going to send for you by somebody else he will get your number by himself and you are going to see a call mark my words and mark what I'm saying in the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I prophesy, let it be so for you. By this divine connection, may destiny happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you're watching me from the United Kingdom right now. You're watching me from the United Kingdom. God is shifting you from UK to US. This is where I see that your destiny is. Listen, you're watching me from the United Kingdom. Husband and wife, two of you are watching me as I'm speaking to you now. The Lord is telling me that he's relocating you from us from uk to us because he wants to connect you to destiny joseph had to leave his father's house to go to egypt because that was the place of destiny in the name of jesus may god make that happen for you and let me use that opportunity and speak listen i wrote about five scriptures here be patient with me tonight when I pray on this, I'm going to read those scriptures and speak them into your life. They all came in the place of prayer. It's not something that I just sat down and invented. They were words that God gave me to speak the blessing upon you. Hallelujah. But let me pray for someone. 
if you are in the wrong location, I stand by God and I pray. Hear me. Believe this. This is a very serious prayer. You can be diligent in the wrong place and never receive a harvest. I'm saying it again. If you are in the wrong location, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I relocate you to the place of destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are abroad and your destiny is in Nigeria, I bring you back in Jesus' name. If you are here and your destiny is in another nation, I don't care how you will get there. By God, and once it is scriptural, may my God push you there. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Hallelujah. I want you by faith, whether you are sitting or standing, stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to begin to make faith declarations. These are not rituals, ladies and gentlemen. There is power being invested here as we pray. Go ahead. As I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, lifting up this prayer request, not because you cannot approach God directly, but he has granted grace. He said, brethren, pray for us. Men can be prayed for. People can stand based on their covenant with God and they can agree as touching important matters in your life. Someone begin to make declarations. Lord, I have brought this prayer request as proof of my faith. Is someone praying now? I'm going to go on my knees as I pray on this for you and I want you to believe in the next one minute. Everyone is praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Shako sapari skadele kaparu satiata Embra teke parakato shata brakati balako siata In your name I come alive To declare your victory The resurrected King Is resurrected King By your spirit I will rise From the ashes of defeat In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare that every request that has been here written as an act of your faith, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected King, I declare, let it return to you as testimonies. Let it return to you as testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it return to you as testimonies. Everyone here appointed unto death in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. By reason of this prayer, we avert death from your life. We avert death from your family. 
in the name of Jesus and prophetically I stand upon this request and I declare in the name of Jesus these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please stand on your feet and be ready to shout a believing amen the blessing is conferred upon people by saying the Bible says and he blessed them and said listen I've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit it comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation they answer to words and they answer to faith words mixed with faith hallelujah a few scriptures and I will speak over your life please I want you to receive it I want you to believe it hallelujah Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9 media let's walk together very quickly Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9 and the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy land it says for the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good in the name of Jesus therefore I prophesy let plenty locate you ah someone is receiving let plenty locate you in this season I drive scarcity from you let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ Deuteronomy 7 15 7 15 Deuteronomy 7 15 the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore I decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of Jesus it will not find expression in your life Isaiah 58 11 58 11 Isaiah it says the Lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting a loud amen? amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now amen. let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine amen. and make fat your bones amen. that thou shall be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not i prophesy supplies to your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that god needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery may god show that sign this week may god show that sign this week may my god show that sign this week in the name of jesus christ listen they looked at Elisha and they were wondering could this be the person to succeed Elisha he did not look like it but when a sign came upon him 
the Bible says he turned the sign was to part Jordan and when he said where is the Lord God of Elijah and Jordan parted hither and thither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed to let everyone know that finally speed has landed but I say again this week may God show that sign this week may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 4 Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 and verse 4 do we have that projected it says since thou was precious in my sight thou has been honorable and I have loved thee therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life listen do you know what this means listen to my message the gift of men you are as wealthy as the men God bring in your life you are not just as wealthy as the things when you have things you are limited things cannot love you things cannot be there for you when God really wants to help a man he gives that man men let me speak over someone you have things but you lack men I pray for you men that includes help us men that includes comfort us men that includes financiers men that includes prophetic people to speak this week may God bring quality men to show up in your life may God bring quality men to show up in your life in the name of Jesus finally numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 numbers 26 24 the Lord bless thee ah you didn't hear that the Lord bless thee the Lord bless thee the Lord keep thee listen do you know what it means for God to keep you have to make reference to John 17 and verse 1 he says he came to him and he said glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you when you read down to verse 6 he says all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition he says look for it since it's somewhere there John 17 all that you have given me I have kept he says and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that the scripture might be fulfilled he said but what I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the Lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the Lord keep you the Lord keep you 25 the Lord make his face to shine upon you Listen, do you know what this means? Every time you hear the face of God shining upon a man, that is favor. You find that in the life of Moses. You find that in Psalm 44 and verse 3. Give it to us very quickly. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance. That is how they became possessors. So when he says, may he make his face shine upon you, it's another way of saying, may you be covered completely with the favor of God. I pray for you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 26. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The last blessing right here is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen i've told you my highest definition of success is not progress is peace 
no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder Jesus himself is called the Prince of Peace he says peace I give you my peace I live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue Oh, a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue Oh, a visa come and see me next week I pray for you the one man sent by God to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are I gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for God dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with Jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of God your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight Jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of Jesus I use the words of Jesus Talitha Kumi it, although it was for a little girl but I pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now. Let it come back to life now. Dead prayer life, come forth. Dead word study life, come forth. Dead passion for the things of God, come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your finances? Will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the Lord on that wise? You need money. Let me tell you, period. It's as simple as that. There is no other way around it. Money is not everything. But as far as the matters of economy is concerned, you will be surprised how crippled your life will be. Are we together now? The person who is sick cannot reach the hospital. But the person who is poor, everything you need is around you. But the wherewithal to make it yours. That is even more disastrous. If you bring something for a sick person to eat, the person may not have the energy. So it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there. But a poor man will pass every shop available, everything available, but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there. And remember, when we talk about finances, I will emphasize again that this is not some mundane, carnal quest for materialism. But let me tell you, I'm a responsible man of God and I believe in responsible Christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of God. Anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you. Are we together? 
The name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we were to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80% of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what... Be if you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God, as far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people, because of this economic backwardness, it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise. God can bless you, so bless you, eh, that you solve your financial problems. It does not become a concern again. Your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of God. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about, that worry, is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially within the, you know, you do not want to compromise your faith, but then it must finance, listen, until you know how to force finance to answer. Especially co-laborers, those who are in ministry here, listen to me. In all you're getting, trust God for grace to sort this money thing once and for all. This is not an issue of pride. This is, this is until that is solved, I guarantee you, there is a, a, a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned. Are we together? The absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise, even in our world today. Many people who love the Lord are forced to bend over and compromise. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus. It says, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue to this day. I pray for someone. The dimension of wealth you have not seen. I call upon my God, the God of Jeshuron, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. May my God surprise you. 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 God surprise you. Open up strange financial gates for you. Connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Amen. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. I, have, I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed, prayed, and fasted for days, just lifting me before the Lord. Whatever gift you give me, is, there's, there's only so much I can do, but that prayer you have prayed for me, I just want to speak one prayer from my heart. One prayer from my heart and you care to receive it i want to pr i'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with god 
there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things God is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to Jacob he lights it upon Israel I truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but I want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this hallelujah can I pray that prayer for you father there is a grace called favor you have helped me you have made me to become an an expression of your favor that it is true you can pick a man and place that grace upon him my Bible says and Jesus increased in wisdom stature favor with God and with men you have helped me in the name of Jesus from the abundance of that which God has given I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight carry that grace evidently <laughs> 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 Carry that grace evidently. Number two, God can empower you to walk signs and wonders, but he can make you a sign and a wonder. He says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, he didn't say we will produce, he said we are, that your life becomes a living epistle. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons, the, 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 the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder, wherever you are, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let the nations hear your voice. Let the nations see the hand of God upon your life. I impart that grace upon you. Carry that grace evidently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want to release that grace for honor. You see, it takes honor for a generation to listen to you. It takes honor for a generation to, to, to acknowledge the hand of God upon your life. Joshua was full of the Spirit already, but he told Moses, take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him. Being skillful and gifted is wonderful, but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation. Being honest and a person of integrity is not enough. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone tonight. May this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain